talking about non-surgical fat reduction, a really popular, popular treatment paradigm today. So I do have some questions for you. Joanne in Morristown asked, what is cryolipolysis and does it work? Great question, Joanne. So cryolipolysis means freezing fat. And does it work? Absolutely. It's been around now for a decade, believe it or not. And the most popular device in that category is what we call cool scoping. And not only is it the most popular device, it's actually the only FDA approved device that cools fat to break it down. And what's essential is that if someone goes for that treatment, then you must, you just must ask that the device is the cool sculpting device because there are knockoff devices from China hitting the United States. And unfortunately, we've seen worse results than no results. We've seen complications because we're actually cooling the fat down to a specific temperature where the, the fat breaks down and the body removes the fat, but the overlying area, the skin, the muscle, the tendons, all the valuable structures are left intact. They're left without harm. What we're seeing with these knockoff devices that they're actually damaging the overlying structures, and that's not a good thing. So ask and make sure that it's cool sculpting that's being used, and it'll, you'll have a safe and effective result. So Margaret in Short Hills asks, does mesotherapy work? So mesotherapy is a procedure that was brought over from Europe about 15 to 20 years ago. And unfortunately, it was not an FDA-approved treatment. It involved the use of different injections of detergents and steroids and vitamins and minerals and asthma medicines. And it was put together in the solution that was injected to try to bring about fat reduction and as well as cellulite reduction. And unfortunately, the results were not consistent. There were complications that these docs caused and it's not really being used today. You're not gonna find anyone reputable that still is doing this treatment because it's not FDA cleared. However, one of the components that was used back then is actually now used in a solution we call Kybella. And this is FDA approved and this is safe and it is a way to bring down small amounts of fat, namely under the chin or in the jowl area. Unfortunately, it's not all that cost effective to use in big areas. In other words, it just you have to use too much of it to bring down large amounts of fat so it gets kind of pricey. So we like to use it for small areas and it works great. Great question. So Chris in New Hope asked, I've heard there's a new laser that can grow your muscles. How does that work? So the new device that can actually grow muscles is called M-Sculpt. And it actually uses electromagnetic energy, similar to an MRI. And it's like doing thousands and thousands and thousands of either crunches or push-ups or what, depending on the body area you're treating, in the span of just about 15 minutes. So it's a way to bring about definition and size of abdominal musculature. It's a way to lift the butt and make the butt more, more muscular and, and more, um, uh, more visibly nice, let's say. We'll, we'll just say not larger, but, but just more well-defined. And, and that's been great. The newest kit on the block is a device called Cool Tone. Uh, unfortunately, we don't know if this is going to work as well as M-Sculpt. M-Sculpt's been out over a year now, and the results have been quite predictable, and patients are really happy with that treatment. Uh, cool Tone, time will tell. Shaquilla in Summit asks, why do people still have liposurgery if there are so many non-surgical options? Great question. So why do we do liposuction still? Well, the advantage of liposuction is in one treatment, we can remove whatever extent of fat we want to remove. If we want to remove 75, 80%, 85% of the fat in a given region, we can do so. There's different var variables that determine how much fat we want to remove, but it's up to us. It's up to our hands to determine it. Non-invasive body contouring, such as cool sculpting or sculpture as, as the two most popular treatments today, we're removing about 20% of the fat with each treatment. So the fat reduction tends to be slower. We're reducing fat over about a three month period. So the advantage of these non-invasive treatments, they're non-invasive. There's no downtime. There's, there's just a, they're very, very comfortable treatments. The disadvantage, we're taking smaller amounts of fat each time out and we're doing it over a slower period. 
And Yanni in Jersey City asks, how come laser light bill costs thousands of dollars at the doctor's office, but I see on Groupon for only $200 sometimes? Great question. So be really careful. There are devices that have the name lipo in it. iLipo might be an example. Serona was an example that, that played on the word lipo in their marketing. And liposuction means removal of fat. But these devices are very low-level lasers that probably have the energy of about a laser pointer. And unfortunately, the results we see with them are, are pretty much non-existent. We've tried all those devices. And, and unfortunately, sometimes when something sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Uh, also, be careful about Groupon today. You know, as, as physicians, we say practitioners that need to put stuff up on Groupon, well, it typically means they're not busy enough to be offering, to, to be in their office, to be doing things without Groupon. So be careful about Groupon and be careful about things that advertise lipo when it's not really liposuction. Liposuction means the manual extraction, taking out of fat with our hands, which is either done in the office under local anesthetic or at times in the hospital under general anesthetic. That is very different than iLipo and these devices which are low-level le low lasers. Mm -hmm.